A malicious campaign is currently targeting Grenadian companies, organizations and entities and individuals, including the Grenada Broadcasting Network. The National Cybersecurity Incident Response Team, CSET, issued an advisory to the public on Friday, informing of the growing campaign. ICT officer Jervis Dabrio of the CSER team sounded the warning. The uh, account behind the campaign is Assistance Service FBS, Assistance Service FBS, and the message they're sending out is to the effect that your account has been or will be permanently disabled for violating some terms of service, and they, they have provided a, a link for you to click on so you can you can verify the account and not have it um, being permanently disabled. Mr. Dabrio highlighted the tactic being used by the campaign. Now, based on our assessment of these pages, not only are they phishing, but it is believed that there is malware on those on that page as well. So anyone receiving the message who has been tagged in their multiple posts um, who click on that link and go there not only do they run the risk of compromising their account but they may very well find themselves compromising um, their device as well. CSET has released a lengthy list of Grenadian entities targeted in the malicious Facebook-based campaign. Dabrio reported it to be quite a dynamic list including media entities, churches, supermarkets, schools, restaurants, and more. From the Prime Minister's ministry to churches, schools, and individuals, um, small businesses, and so there are multiple um, targets in this campaign. From the National CSERT, we're asking anyone, whether you manage a page um, for a company or it's your page, if you receive a message saying that your account will be deactivated, Please do not click on the link. If your business has been found on the list, CSET says it's important that you do not click on any link received in relation to the disabling or blocking of the page or account without first verifying the authenticity of the message, which it can assist with. The malicious campaign is ongoing. CSET is still working on getting the account taken down. For GBN News, Beverly Tellisford.